Okay. Okay, the first concept that we'll be looking at will be the URL shortener. I've given you a screenshot there of an example of how your URL shortener uh, app would look like, where you'd be able to shorten a long URL, where you'd be able to customize the link, and that would be the one that you'd use as a URL shortener. But this is just the one example. Let's first look at what a URL shortener is. What it is, is a tool or service used to convert a long URL to a shorter version. That is the basic uh, definition of what a URL shortener is. That would, it would mark allocation uh, learners when you are writing in your examinations, how many marks are allocated, if it's one mark, if it's two marks, it means that you'd have to go into, for instance, how a URL shortener works, and you'd include something like that to say that you, when you are using a URL shortener, you log into the URL shortener site, paste the long URL, and then click on shorten, and you'll have your short URL. The advantages of using the URL shortener learners Convenient for apps which limit the number of characters in a message. It would be useful to use a, a URL shortener in that case. It is easier to remember for you as a user. Users can track links which they have created uh, in the URL sh L L shortener uh, app. Disadvantages of using a URL shortener. Some of them would be some websites prevent short URLs from being posted, and that would pose a problem to you as a user. Some URL shorteners have unique domain names, and you have to make use of those domain names which are given to you in the particular uh, site. Some shortened URLs can appear as spam because they cannot be customized. So if you want to send this to someone else, uh, they might think that this is spam because it doesn't really look a uh, real. Okay, after this, I want us to look at the different examples. Those are the different examples that you can also look up in the examination guidelines, which was being uh, flighted on the screen previously. And remember, learners who are taking it, that this is a revision. This is work that you have been taught by your teachers at schools already. You have the, 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 the document that we're talking about where you can have uh, all the explanations there in full. These are the different examples. You can look them up. The first one, tinyurl.com, is the one that I, I've shown you there in my first screen. And I'm going to take you through to one or two questions from previous question papers. Unfortunately, I did not indicate the question paper that these came from, but it's from previous question papers, like the ones that uh, Mrs. Moodley was showing you. This was a 9.4 question, which was saying the coach of the coding and robotics conference wants to send links with information. He has heard that using a URL shortener would be the best way to send the links. You are supposed to give two disadvantages of using the URL shortener technique. So this would be an expectation if it says two marks and your uh, action verb says give, you need to mention, you need to give those with the short explanation. And for instance, we've looked at the um, disadvantages in the previous slides where you'd mention things like some websites, stop short URLs from being posted. I think it's one of the disadvantages that we looked at there. Some URLs have unique domain names, which you know you have to use and some of them may appear as spam, and this cannot be trusted by the user or the person receiving it. 9.3 coming from another question paper. An invitation with a shortened URL was emailed to guests so they could register to attend the event. 9.3.1 says, the URL given there was emailed. Give two reasons why the guests may not trust this shortened URL. Now, if you look at this question and you look at the previous question, 9.4, these are just looking at the disadvantages of URL shorteners. But then they are posed in two different ways. But what they are looking for, or what the examiner is actually looking for here is similar. You'd still mention the same uh, kind of responses. <coughs> 
So you could say in this case, because they're talking about an email to the guests uh, that they can register for a particular event, which was uh, mentioned in the, in the um, scenario, because this was a question nine, the indication would be, for instance, as a disadvantage, no indication whether this website is secure or not. Because if you look at this URL shot, if you look at the domain, does it, it doesn't really say anything about the real website where this comes from. This can be flagged as spam in the recipient's inbox because we've talked about spam as being one possibility of a disadvantage and then there's no logical indication of the website which is given in this shortened URL. So that would be uh, your 9.3, the two reasons why the people would not uh, trust this very well. Okay, I'm going to quickly move to the next uh, concept, Internet of Things. And if you look at the picture here, you already can see, remember this is revision, the connection between all of those devices. And what is important is that internet is necessary for this to happen. What is internet of things? If you are looking at the definition, it's a trend well where all sorts of devices can be connected to one another via the internet. Very importantly, the via the internet is the key word there. How does this technique work? Devices are embedded with sensors and software which extend, which exchange data with other devices over the internet. So the sensors and the software is also very important there for this to take place. We'll quickly look at the advantages of IoT. Uh, a person or a user can start appliances even before they, re they reach home so that they can already start the process of whatever it is that they're doing, can check if appliances are in working order, and then they can also be able to monitor the usage of the appliances. And then it's also easy to diagnose the, the devices without physically being on site if there's something wrong with the device. Disadvantages of IoT, compromised user privacy. It's very difficult to keep privacy when you are using IoT. Cyber criminals can obviously hack into the network via the IoT devices. And then there's also the problem of over-reliance on technology, which can pose as a problem. Now, the different examples that I want you to look at here, the, you know, the connected cars in IoT uh, world, smart appliances, connected security system, smart agriculture equipment, connected retail and so forth and so forth. Those are the different examples that you can add and you can just go and check what do they mean by a connected car, a car where you can actually make use of your own cell phone to be able to control the car. Smart appliances, what are they talking about with smart appliances? What smart appliances can you find in a home, for instance, and so forth. Uh, other examples that you can look at uh, products inside a fridge which have got an RFID text can give information, for instance, of the expiry date of the products which are in there. If you have a smart dustbin, for instance, whenever you are throwing away stuff, it can be able to update your shopping list. And then using your cell phone, you know, with uh, the sensors are able to collect and share data on applications like Waze when you are traveling. Uh, uh, different examples of questions on IoT from previous question papers. This was one example. It was a uh, question 5.8 in one of the question papers. This was a question five. Give two uses of IoT in a home environment. I think this question I actually used uh, in June when we were doing revision. For those of you who attended the uh, June revision classes, uh, uh, give you uh, two uses of IoT in an, a home environment. Uh, appliances, it's those same ones that we looked at in the previous slide at the, uh, as the advantages of using IoT. You can start or you can control devices even when you are not at home. Diagnosis can be done remotely. Integration of various devices is possible and then you are able to use or monitor the users of, usage of those devices. That would be two marks. And then the, um, the next example, I think we also did this as well at the time, 
5.3.1 showing you a diagram where they're saying you should name the technology that is represented in the diagram above. Obviously, when you look at this connectivity, you see the cloud, you see that there's a TV, there's a fridge. Those are your smart appliances. Uh, the technology that is represented here for one mark would be your IoT or in full your Internet of Things. 9.3.2 still on IoT or still based on the same uh, picture. What do the errors in the diagram represent? That could simply mean that there is communication between these devices. 5.3.3 state one concern that could arise around the technology in the diagram above. So if you have been able to pinpoint that this is IoT, you would understand that 5.3.3 is actually looking at the disadvantages because they're talking about a concern. What is a concern? It's a disadvantage of using IoT. You'd mention, for instance, it can be a hack, security issues would become a problem, reliability or over-reliability on connectivity is a problem, and then there's also a lack of privacy. Uh, someone from Hope School says, we cannot see your screen on IoT previous question. Uh, Kim? I is everything still visible? I could still see it. Um, it is visible. Yeah. It is visible. Okay. Okay. I think I think just because of the data connection, maybe the people must just try and disconnect and reconnect again. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. Uh, okay. Let's move on to the next concept. Autonomous vehicles. And if you look at the picture that you have on the screen there, uh, Lenas, you can see that they, you have your vehicles which are moving there and the vehicle that is in the center. If you look at it, you can see the, you know, trying to depict the fact that there are some sensors around this car which are sensing the car behind, the car in front, the two cars on the sides, as well as the marking, the, the, mark, uh, the marked white lines on the road. Now, what is an autonomous vehicle? Self-driving cars, or we can say they are driverless cars, we can say they are robot cars. They're able to sense their environment and move safely with little or no human input. How this works, how autonomous vehicles work, they use various technologies and sensors to navigate on roads like you've seen in the uh, previous picture there. Then we can quickly look at the advantages of using or the advantages of autonomous vehicles, reduced accidents and reduced traffic congestion, transportation for individuals who cannot drive, that is also very important, reduced travel times as an advantage. And I've included three disadvantages there. Hacking is also a problem when it comes to this type of technology. Hacking into the system can pose a problem. Or, for instance, the, the, the computer, the machine can malfunction and this can cause errors, obviously, on the road. Movement of the car can be tracked and as such result in loss of privacy. It would be easy to detect where you are at a particular time. Now, there's another example that I've, I'm giving you there, how automated vehicles work. We talked about the sensors. Now, if you look at this particular example, there's a, the pink circles, which you see on the car, there's a kind of a, an explanation on the side to say that those are the cameras. Then you have the radar sensor, you have the controller, you have the leader sensor, and you have the GPS unit, as well as the onboard uh, base map. Now, the four pictures of these cars, the, the, the cameras trying to show you what really happens with the leader. What is it that is able to sense the radar? It's able to, uh, what is it able to sense? And the GPS unit, obviously, helping them with the navigation. So this, uh, like uh, Mrs. Moodley had as indicated before, you would have these uh, available for you for revision purposes. Example of a question. From previous question papers, uh, learners, 9.7 from one of the uh, question papers. This was a, the integrated scenario question. One of the technologies the coach came across, this was uh, 
uh, a question on for research purposes re relates to autonomous vehicles. List two advantages of using autonomous vehicles. I think we've looked at the uh, advantages in the previous slides. You talk about things like the reduced accidents, uh, the reduced traffic congestion, for instance. You can talk about, you know, being able to transport people who are not able to drive themselves and then the reduced travel times. But you are looking for only two of those. And very importantly, this is something that I, I keep forgetting to indicate to you. Look at the action verb. If they're saying list, you are just listing the, you are listing the uh, two advantages there. All right, that would be for two marks. And we'll look at the next technology or the next concept in the new technologies, your drone technology. There's a picture there showing you a drone. What I, uh, I like about your group of this year is that last year with your pet, you had to uh you have your pet was based on the on drain to, uh, drone technology so this is something that you can very easily relate to there's an uh, just an example of uh, how a drone looks like the different components of it, the physical in fact components of the drone what it is a drone is a flying robot or an unmanned aircraft and how does it work? It can be remotely controlled or fly autonomously through software controlled flight plans in its embedded system, working with onboard sensors and GPS. That's it, just how, how it works. That's how it operates. So in your definition, you can include both of these. And we're going to look at the advantages of using drone technology. Like I said, you can relate very much to this uh, concept because you did that last year. Uh, relatively inexpensive compared to manned aircrafts. That is an advantage. And then they can fly in places which are difficult to access and can be useful tools for businesses, for instance, in, con in construction and in aerial mapping and so forth. Disadvantages of drone technology, learners. It can cause damage to property. Uh, due to weather conditions, for instance, or if it loses its signal. Invasion of privacy is one of the disadvantages because it just captures images in different areas. Battery life can limit the, the flying time of a drone. That could also be a disadvantage. <laughs> Let's look at the different examples there of where uh, drone technology can be useful. Aerial photography for journalism and film, uh, express shipping and delivery, gathering of information or supplying essentials for disaster management, <coughs> thermal sensor drones for research and rescue operations, building safety inspections and so forth. Those are just the uh, different examples. Um, these are just the different examples that you can tap into. Examples from previous question papers. Uh, this was uh, multiple choice. Question 1.6. Mm, technology can assist game rangers to monitor and detect poaching activities. As a learner, you had to choose. Your answer there would obviously be your dra uh, drone technology can assist game rangers to monitor, monitor and detect poaching activities. Uh, because this can, you know, it's it's a it's a, a an aircraft that can fly there by itself. Ten point five. This was for from the integration question ten. The club uses a drone for various activities. Give two benefits of equipping a drone with a camera to follow the runners or walkers. In this uh, particular scenario, we had uh, people who were on on this uh, particular trail, and then. Why would it be beneficial to equip a drone with a camera to follow them? So you'd relate your answers to the particular scenario which was given. And in this particular case, you could say, for instance, the live stream of the events, monitoring the safety of the runners or the walkers, making sure that there's no cheating by those who'd want to, you know, I've heard about this story, which made me laugh some time ago, but anyway, where a person joined in the, the, the race uh, because they had a twin who was running in the race and then they, 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 
new twin took over and then completed the race, but that's many years ago. Um, uh, I led for medical emergencies that could be possible and then analyzing the route. Is it safe for these people to still be running on this trail? So it would be those would be some of the benefits or the advantages of equipping a drone with a camera to follow these runners. Right. Uh, let's move to the next technology. Please give us a chance to answer. Uh, there's a, I, I'm, I don't think I have enough time to take answers from you as the learners because I'm, I'm, I think I have only 30 minutes with this presentation. So the, the questions that you have, or the, the, if you'd like to answer these, you'd still be receiving these presentations at the school with your teachers in the classroom as part of your revision plan. This can come in handy as well. Okay, if we move to the next top technology, because I think I still have two more wearable devices and wearable technologies learners, your wearable devices as accessories, given there as examples, your wearable medical devices, wearable cameras, smart shoes, and so on. And you also have wearable devices as implants. So you can uh, uh, explore these concepts even further uh, as part of your revision. Wearable devices and wearable technologies, what are they? What is a wearable uh, device? Electronic mobile devices worn as accessories or as part of clothing. How this work? These continuously generate data from various environments and communicate with other devices using sensors, again, which track information, for instance, distance, heart rate and temperature and so forth. Now, the advantages of wearable devices, learners, Tracking of information without being confined to a physical location. You don't need to be in one space. Connected to smart devices to which they transmit information, hands-free and portable, easy. I mean, ease of mobility would be uh, uh, some of the advantages of wearable devices. Disadvantages of these: they can sometimes measure data inaccurately. I think we can agree to that. Privacy concerns. <clears throat> and may be hacked as they are always online. So those would be some of the disadvantages. I want us to quickly uh, look at examples from previous question papers. This was an integration question 9.2 from one of the previous question papers, which was saying wearables can enhance the travel experience in various ways since you will eventually be taking the trip overseas. I think this was a from one of the June question papers, list two ways in which a wearable like a smartwatch could be of advantage to the user. So here you'd be giving the advantages of a wearable, but in this particular case, particularly looking at a smartwatch. So you could, for instance, go back to your uh, advantages uh, monitor the well-being of this person, track fitness activities, for instance, maintaining uh, healthy routines or providing reminders to you if you've set up reminders, monitoring your sleep patterns and so forth. So that would be your two marks there, listing two. Now with your list and the next one, 4.6 says name. Health trackers are often worn by athletes and people who are health conscious. Name two types of outputs a user would expect to find on his or her, her health tracker. So this question asked differently, but mostly looking at the same type of information because you'll be talking about what? Maybe your step counter, uh, you are able to count your steps. Uh, you can check where you exercise, how often you exercise and so forth, how much sleep you get, for instance, your heart rate and so and so forth and so forth. So but then you look at the two questions, they look like they're not the same, but the information that the examiner is looking for, it's very much similar. All right. Can we move to the next concept? Shaping 
slash network tuning. There's an example there <coughs> in the form of an, a picture or an illustration, the traffic shaping or packet shaping. And if you look at the first uh, bar, which is thicker than the others, it says high priority traffic. And then the one in the middle, which is smaller than the high priority traffic, says medium priority traffic. And then the one with the thinnest one says low priority traffic. Now, what is shaping or network tuning? The, this is the technique where certain network or internet services are given preference while others are given less priority. It's very important now to <coughs> distinguish uh, this explanation of shaping, you'll see as we move to the next one, which is throttling, and you should be able to see the difference there. <clears throat> now, in shaping, services, certain services are given preference, while others are given less priority. How does this work? Your ISP decides which services to shape. For instance, emails could be given preference over social networking services. And this is regarded as the quality of service technique, whereby the activities with higher uh, preference, like emails, would be, you know, given more preference as compared to uh, social networking services. We'll look at the different examples. For instance, if we look at the advantages of shaping, shaping allows a service provider to make essential data or services available. It helps with ensuring better quality of service and reduces the delay in the network communication. But then the disadvantages of shaping, why is it that it wouldn't be great to, to, to have shaping? You will see even as we move to the different questions there. The user may experience slow internet connection at peak times, and this is the time that maybe you really wanted to go on to the social networking service, but you have been, it has been shaped because emails are taking priority. Allocate, uh, the ISP allocates bandwidth resources in inefficiently. It's an unfair bandwidth distribution. You can't decide on that. Costly infrastructure is necessary for you to be able to do that. All right, examples from previous question papers. Uh, this was a true or false question where you had to change if the underlined word is false, you'd have to give the true uh, version of that word. It says, yes, uh, underlined throttling causes certain internet services to, given, to be given priority over others. So now like, if you go back to our explanation in the previous slides, you'll see that if we're talking about giving priority, internet services being given priority over others, other internet services being given priority over others, you'll see that we're talking about shaping and not throttling. Right, 10.4.2 from an integration question was asking, what is the advantage of having an unshaped line when downloading? uh learning material this was uh the scenario or something like uh learners learning from home and then they would like to download learning material what would happen if uh the uh, line is being shaped so the question was what is the advantage of having an unshaped line so the line is not shaped because we need these learners to be able to download learning material so we could say for instance uh, no other services will be given priority over this downloading of the learning material. So unshaped line here would be a, a, a perfect in this particular scenario because learners need to be able to download the learning material. Right, that was uh, for one mark there. Right, now let's go to the next uh, topic, which is on throttling or policing. Now, if you look at this picture, you have your internet, you have your ISP in the middle, and you have you as the user at the end. In the first part, at the top part, you have your internet allocating 100 megabytes per second. Your ISP is giving you 100 megabytes per second. 
Now, if you go down, you look at the second part of this picture. Your internet is allocating 100 megabytes per second, but your ISP is throttling you and giving you 0 0.4 megabytes per second. Now, this is basically how the concept of throttling works. You are being, your internet connection is being slowed down. What is it? This occurs when your ISP slows down your internet connection. It happens when the ISP realizes that your downloads have used excessive amounts of data. Or for instance, when you can see, you can see that your, 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 your cap, you are almost at your cap. So your ISP is going to slow down your uh, internet connection so that you limit it, it limits how fast you can access something when you are online. What are the advantages of throttling? A controlled internet access environment can be set up in an organization if this is a part, if in, in an organization setup. It limits the congestion in the ISP server and prevents crashes and improves overall network performance. Uh, disadvantages, I can see I've actually run out of my allocated time. Disadvantages would be uh, inconvenient for users due to slow speeds. And this could be misleading if, for instance, you have paid for unkept data and you are being throttled. And examples from previous question papers, this was a, a question where you had to, it's 1.1 says, pro, the process during which your ISP slows down your internet connection is known as, is it shaping, is it throttling? You'll obviously be saying throttling because your internet service provider is slowing down your connection. Right, the next one for one mark would be your ISP sent you an email saying that high usage on your unkept line will result in the line being throttled. Explain what the term throttled means. So you'd explain that this is when your ISP slow da slows down your internet connection due to the fact that you have probably uh, been downloading a lot of material. Right, I tried to include there the differences between shaping and throttling because it has been realized with the paper two marking to say that most of the learners uh, are what they are confusing the two concepts. Now, your shaping deals with the levels of importance of activities, high, uh, higher priority given to the more important activities and less priority to the less important activities. And then with throttling, that's where your internet service provider slows down your speed because you've been downloading.